What is direct variation? Well, direct variation is defined by this formula. y equals k times x, where x and y are any two variables, and k is a constant that does not equal 0. Now, in addition to k not equaling 0, it has a special name. It's called the constant of variation. So, it's a constant that helps us determine what x and y are. Now also look at our formula and notice that as x increases in our formula, so does y. Now let's take an example using the formula for direct variation. The circumference of a square is directly proportional to the length of one of its sides. The constant of variation is 4. If a square has a side with length 5, what is the circumference? Well notice, nowhere in the problem did it say direct variation. It did, however, have the phrase directly proportional. This phrase is often used in word problems instead of direct variation, but it means the same thing. So, we need to find all the different pieces. So, we need to find y, x, and k. Let's look at y first. Our problem says that the circumference of a square is directly proportional to the length of one of its sides. Well, if the circumference is directly proportional to the length of a side, then y must be the circumference. So, y is the circumference of our square. Do we know what the circumference is? No, we don't. That's what we're trying to find. So y is our unknown variable. Now let's look at x. Our problem says that the circumference of a square, which is y, is directly proportional to the length of one of its sides. So x must be the length of a side. Now we were given in the problem that the length of one of the sides is equal to 5. So we have x. Now let's look at k. Remember, k is our constant of variation. And our problem says that our constant of variation is 4. Now we have all of our pieces. Let's plug it into our formula for direct variation. We have y, which we're trying to find, equal to k, which is 4, times x, which is 5. When we simplify, we get y equals 20. So, the circumference of our square is 20. We use the formula for direct variation to find the circumference of the square.